dear brothers and sisters greetings in the name of father god as you know recently uh, how we are able to help the 37 families but we get more requests from the flood affected and heavy rain affected christians brothers and sisters over in pakistan and the mostly affected people where we are doing them this is they are the brickling campus people of the new york church and they are looking for help assistance food because due to the rain what they make the bricks the bricks completely destroy and uh, make a shape in the mud and they are not able to earn money so at least then we are not able to bear their all expenses but we can be able to give them food for a day for a week for a month as lord lead you please take stand with us and help us so you we will be able to help these brothers and sisters who are our brickelin campus church people god bless you. Hey dear brothers and sisters greetings in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ my heart is really break and uh, the tears in our eyes and we are really weeping because our new york brickland campus families who are really hard working people even they love jesus and they do the hard work but due to the heavy rains and flooded things destroy all the stuff all the bricks what they made very hardly but due to the heavy rain and after the flooding when these things are destroyed the bricklin owner don't give them the money of their hard working this is the difficult situation and position for them and they are at this time live a helpless life and we want to lift up the voice of these voiceless brothers and sisters over in pakistan as we are helping them and reaching them which is not enough help we want to ask you and would love to argue in the name of jesus christ first please prayer share and if lord lead you and put in your heart you can be send donations and save the life of these innocent brothers and sisters who make the bricks but all the hard working stuff destroy after the heavy rains i would love to ask you you know when someone do the hard work and they didn't get what they need to earn so how much difficulties and things come up so they, there are the mother sisters brother children are doing hard working but all the things demolish and completely destroy after the heavy rains i would pray for you and i prefer to you as lord lead you you also pray and we both together stand and reach them and this will be our great successness in jesus name so the brother is telling me that uh, 300000 bricks after the heavy rains completely destroyed the 300000 bricks completely destroyed which the christian brickland people and other uh, people who are working as a labor they make these bricks this is very sad situation 300000 bricks i would love to ask brother to show you they are the completely you can see the bricks are destroyed Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Nick Gentile from Rochester, New York. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I've made this video to raise financial support for the poor Christian victims of the recent devastating flooding that took place in Pakistan in late August and early September of this year. I'm partnered with the pastor in the video you just watched. I'm the American ambassador of his ministry. Now I've made three previous videos laying out the devastation which has taken place in the country the links of which can be found in the description section of this video with the hopes of raising money for his church's relief efforts in the region in Jesus name and for his glory as you saw and heard from pastor Shahid in the video the floods have destroyed millions of bricks in the brick making fields many Christians work in the brick making fields to earn a very meager wage this has severely detrimentally affected their livelihood and has put their future and their lives in jeopardy Here's a message that Pastor Shahid sent me about the situation. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of Jesus be with you all. We want to draw your kind attention towards the very saddened, famished situation elevated 
because of heavy monsoon rains in Pakistan. The members of our congregation belong to brick kiln factories and fields, and they have been facing the most miserable circumstances because of closing or because of the end of their labor work because of the floods. The owners of these, br these brick-making factories are also facing financial crisis as more than 3 million raw bricks have been damaged due to recent rains. Thus, the brick kiln factory owners not ready to pay some advances to laborers. They're not in a position to pay laborers. And again, he's from Pakistan. He speaks good enough English, but his first language is Urdu. So sometimes I have to decipher what he's attempting to communicate in writing because he does speak in, in right English pretty decently for someone whose first language is not English and it is not a romance language, for instance, Urdu. So, but anyways, bear with me. We intend to help our Christian families in the time of this great natural disaster. Therefore, we have captured a video report during the need assessment survey of their dwellings. You may watch the conditions of their dismantled houses and damaged bricks. They are hungry and looking for some support to feed their families. We prayed with them and encouraged them to have faith upon Jesus, and he will send heavenly help through his people. The financial conditions in the country were not at due to lockdown or due to the COVID-19 lockdown. The work was just started three weeks ago, but stopped due to the heavy rains, to the flooding. This community is the most vulnerable and marginalized segment of Pakistani society as they are in very low income in working days which was already not sufficient to meet their basic needs. So the wage they earn is insufficient to meet their basic needs as it is and now they are in an even more helpless state because they can't even earn anything. They're, they're, they're incapable because of the conditions, because of the fields, the, brick, the bricks, all the bricks being destroyed in the brick making fields uh, and so it's a really devastating situation for them. So thus you can imagine their helplessness in case of closing in the case of the closing of their work. Some of the families are most worried because of their houses being dismantled which need urgent repair in bad weather. So we request you all to share the love of Jesus Christ with these Christian people affected in rural area in the rural areas of Pakistan. They need urgent generous support for food for their hungry families. They also need financial support for the restoration of their damaged houses. To date we have fed 137 families by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ through the kind assistance of his people. Still, we have 363 Brick Kiln Camp Pakistani Christians who are waiting for food supplies which will be only possible with your kind assistance because everyone needs humanitarian aid assistance for their lives. Therefore, we are requesting you in the name of Jesus to take a stand with our church by sending generous financial support. We shall pray for you and your families. We shall be truly grateful to you for the great act of kindness. We hope you will consider our humble request because of this great urgent need on this urgent basis on the behalf of the poor Christian brick-making community in dire need here in Pakistan. In Christ, your brother, Pastor Paul. Now praise be to God, as I read from Pastor Paul's letter, because of the generosity of God's people, to date, by God's grace, enough money has been raised which has enabled the pastor and his church and ministry associates to provide 137 of these Christian families who work in the brick making fields with food for an entire month in Jesus name and for his glory. Praise be to God. Now here's a video that Pastor Shahid sent me of the various aid distributions that took place. So. First, uh, the pastor and his associates, by the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and for his glory, were able to feed 37 families. The next video shows them feeding 100 families. Now, you're not going to see all 100 families being fed, but you're going to see a portion of that. Okay, and then I'll come back and I'll read the rest of this information, the rest of this appeal for financial help for our dear brothers and sisters in Christ who are still in need. And then I will get into our, our ultimate goal and what we have left to do. Uh, what, what we have left to accomplish in Pakistan. So Christ bless you and keep you and enjoy uh, the videos of the two uh, humanitarian aid di distributions.
Praise the Lord. What a glorious moment that today uh, the Royal Church brothers and sisters of the Brooklyn campus, uh, they receive the food packages and the Holy Bible gift. They are very really thankful for this precious gift. We pray for our bishop and pastor, Krone, may the God bless you and uh, all the brothers and sisters who take a part and send donations. So this is the make it the possible. So these all brothers are happy and thankful. Bolo sare zor na hallelujah. Hallelujah! 
Mahal.
Now our ultimate goal is to feed a total of 500 families. So we have 363 more families yet to feed. It takes the equivalent of 33 US dollars or 5,500 Pakistani rupees to feed one Christian family for an entire month. So the total amount that it will take to feed the remaining 363 families is $12,000. Now I know that sounds like a lot and it is a lot, but any amount helps, any amount helps. If you donate $10, it will go a long way to helping at least one Christian brick-making family in need because the U.S. dollar is 166 times the value of the Pakistani rupee, and that goes a long way. You may think that's not a lot, in fact, more like a drop in the bucket, but it could be the difference between life and death for these precious people. So it definitely matters and has great significance for those in need. In addition, the reason that we are focused on specifically helping Christians is because we are Christians. So we have to help our people first. Secondly, Christians are victims of regular and persistent persecution, oppression, systematic discrimination in every strata of society, marginalization, ostracization or ostracism, rape, imprisonment, and murder in Pakistan simply because of their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, when a disaster like this flooding hits, Christians are denied or prevented from receiving the necessary aid that they need to survive. So we must do whatever we can to help them. Jesus stated as recorded in Matthew 25 verse 40 and the king will say and of course Jesus is the king uh, I tell you the truth when you did it to one of the least of these my brothers and sisters you were doing it to me so those of us who are more fortunate when it comes to this world's goods have a responsibility to be generous with those who have less especially among the household of believers because when we do that we are doing it unto the Lord Jesus and helping an image bearer and fellow brother and sister in Christ in need Galatians 6.10 says, Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith, household of faith, or household of believers, depending on the translation. It says one of those different things, one of those translations. So please give whatever you can to help our brothers and sisters in Christ who are in a very desperate situation. The link to my PayPal link is in the description section of this video. Whatever money is sent to me, I will send to Pastor Shahid via Western Union, which is how I send him any money which is donated to him for any reason under normal circumstances for ministry purposes. I also want to mention that every Christian family who receives food will also receive their very own Bibles. Now, I'm not sure if the first 37 families got a Bible, but I know that the last 100 families, like I said, the first amount of people that were fed were 37. The families for an entire month were 37. The second amount were 100 families for an entire month. And I know for a fact that those 100 families that were fed for an entire month all received a Bible of their own, which is a big deal in Pakistan. Again, this is great because it's very hard for Christians to get Bibles in Pakistan because they're persecuted for their faith in Christ. It's not easy to come by Bibles. And also, they're poor, so they can't afford a Bible. You know, Bibles are like the equivalent, I believe, uh, Pastor Paul, Pastor Shahid told me, like $9. Even if they're a little less or a little more, that's still too much money for the average Pakistani Christian who works the most menial jobs possible and makes the lowest wages you can possibly make. And, and basically, even the brick making is a form of slavery in many cases. So they can't afford a Bible even if they could get access to one. And those who can afford it, they're persecuted. You know, it's hard to come by Bibles, and evangelism is obviously prohibited in the country because it's a Muslim-majority country, and in Muslim-majority countries, they do not allow for evangelism. Uh, Christians, uh, Pakistan is one of the hardest countries in the world to be a Christian. So, you can imagine how difficult it would be to procure a Bible under those circumstances. Please also continuously pray for the recovery efforts in the region of Pakistan where this hit. Pray for the nation of Pakistan. Pray for its people. Pray for the salvation of the Muslims. Pray for your Christian brothers and sisters that are being persecuted for their faith. Pray for the provision and protection of all the people in the country. Uh, pray for also other minorities. You know, you have Christians. They're the most prominent minority group in Pakistan, but you also have Hindus, and you also have Shiite or Shia Muslims because Pakistan is a Sunni Muslim country. They're also persecuted, so pray for them. You know, pray for the salvation of all those that don't know Christ as their Lord and Savior, and keep your brothers and sisters in Christ in prayer. Pray for their protection, pray for them to be able to spread the gospel, pray for them to get Bibles, and pray for them to be a light to their uh, Muslim and Hindu neighbors, that they'd be able to share the good news, and let their light so shine before men that they, people would see their good works and give glory or praise their Father in Heaven. 
and pray for anything else that the Spirit of God leads you. And again, give all that you can financially. It's great to, to pray, to provide prayer support for our brothers and sisters in Christ in Pakistan who have been devastated by this recent flooding, which has devastated a large portion of Pakistan. But give whatever you can. And um, this pastor who I'm supporting, who I'm partnered with in ministry, he's on the front lines and he brings everything that's donated to these precious brothers and sisters in Christ in need and who work in the brick making fields. Everything that's donated to him, 100% of it goes to feeding them. And so it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So, you know, we should store up our treasure in heaven where moth and rust cannot destroy and robbers can't come in, can't break in and steal. Thieves can't break in and steal. And, you know, if, if you're doing this for these dear Pakistani brothers and sisters in Christ who are probably the most marginalized group of people or one of the most marginalized groups of people on the planet, you're doing it unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's the one we're going to stand in judgment before. If you're a believer at the Bema Seat Judgment, the Mercy Seat Judgment of Christ, which is a judgment of rewards. But we do this for the glory of God to show our love and our compassion for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Because, again, what would we want to do if we were in their situation? But again, pray for the country to restore everything, for the infrastructure in Pakistan to get stronger, and uh, for God's grace and mercy to be extended to the country, and that the gospel will go forth and souls will be saved in Jesus' mighty name and for his glory. So, Christ bless you. We'll keep you. And again, the link to my PayPal account will be in the description section of this video. You can donate that way, and I will make sure to get the money to Pastor Paul ASAP. So, Pastor Shahid ASAP. With that said, thank you for tuning in. May the Lord richly bless you in Jesus' name and for his glory. And uh, Jesus is Lord, Lord of all. Trust in him today and be saved. He is risen, risen indeed. God bless you. This is Pastor Nick Gentile of Lord and Christ Ministries.